I'm Nikki. I'm Nick. And together we're Nikki Nick. Hello. Today we're going to be reacting to something that's currently number seven on trending, which Woo, is good trying, job. To, yeah, yay, trying to get into fitness and health by Jane Animations. And, and for anybody, like I remember, I'm already going to talk about it before watching it. I knew you were going to, that's why I let you take it away. Thank you. I, I already know what you're about to say. Go ahead. What? About your fitness and health stuff. Uh, well, I was going to say how long it. It took me to actually get into a it. A routine. I remember when I was little and I was like, I want abs. So I'm just gonna do some sit-ups <laughs> So I just did sit-ups Yeah, you sounded like Mickey Mouse. Oh, that. yeah. <laughs> um, so I put my feet underneath the couch and just start doing sit-ups. Really? Yeah, but that would last once. Do probably did it once a month. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard I, I didn't motivation. start fully working out until I was probably 19. Yeah. Yeah, you said that. I started working out when I was 14. And, and then, then you quit. I quit. And, and then, then you I met me. The story was just like perfectly aligned. And then I went to just... the gym probably like almost every single day. <laughs> we skipped today. Yeah, we did. Because we wanted Because I'm film. yawning. Yeah, we're very tired. So it was either like yeah, film a, or gym. So yeah, I had a long, long day at work. So. Yeah, anyway, I'm. Ugh, oh, babbling. Babbling, as we always do in front of Jane and the Odd Ones Out video. It's, it's just such a great topic of discussion. I think all of the topics of discussion are awesome. But so I'm, I'm really curious, curious <laughs> to see her um, trying to get into the fitness and health Or maybe routine. she's teaching us that she's already in it. Uh, You're right. You never know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Here we go. The month has already passed of 2018, and you know what that means. People have already started giving up on their New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Google claims that only 8% of people actually keep their resolutions, which is I'm like the ultimate, I'm not mad, just disappointed. Well, I'm happy to tell you that I haven't dropped any of my resolutions. I only had one. I don't write any. My family never really did write any. <laughs> Once my dad was like, let's all write resolutions this year. And we still didn't, and then I didn't accomplish anything. For me, when I want to change something, I start trying to integrate it into my life right away, rather than waiting until next week, or next year, or to do next that lifetime way. for that fresh start. I actually Every wanted day to do is that. a Jaden New Year. Start meditating or do yoga. That is well, like the most inspirational write thing. Them, probably isn't qualified to critique the art of New Year's <laughs> resolutions. I'm going to toss my opinion that no one asked for into the ring. Leaders <laughs> to those 92% failing goals are, they're too unrealistic, and they're too vague. Let's stop beating around the bush and talk about the most common resolution people make. Losing weight, eating healthier, you know. Knock them out. Lose 20 pounds by drinking this tea from a weird plant you've never heard of. Lose 10 pounds in 30 minutes or your pizza's free. They all Lose sound like her. Your money. Yeah, you're right. It's all That's basically crazy. just. Oh my, give me the money! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Make too good to be true claims are just people who want your money. Sure, the scale says, hey, great job, you lost seven pounds in a week. But your body says, yeah, but so that was hungry. all just water weight, and also I don't feel very good. Or, <laughs> ah! If yeah, you want that's change, basically you've it. gotta earn it through work. There isn't an easy way out. Anchor on <laughs> be sustainable for life. That's why they're called lifestyle changes. Not, I'm gonna pay $200 for this diet shake, feel good for two weeks, lose 10 pounds, start feeling bad, and give up in a month. Changes. Aww. I'm gonna start working out more. I'm gonna start going to the gym. Let's be honest with ourselves here. That's a weak excuse for a resolution. I'll go on a run every other morning. I'll lift weights three to five days a week. Those are much easier to follow than I'll exercise more. <laughs> Get out of here with that big crap. You don't that. <laughs> and don't be flaky and say, oh, I missed a week. Oh, I'm hopeless. Same. I'm not going to be perfect for a whole year. Take a breath, chill, and keep going. I'm saying that to myself just as much as I am to you. I've been trying to be more self-aware about when my brain just wants to turn one little mess up into an excuse to stop something entirely. I'm getting better at slowly ending that habit. I grew up doing a lot of sports. Soccer, martial arts, tennis, competitive Pokemon. I never <laughs> nice. the gym, but I dropped it all around my the last gym. year that was funny. to focus on YouTube and art. I didn't care about what I ate, and combined with not moving around, much I started feeling pretty crummy so I ended up turning to what most people do when they reach a similar problem <sighs> all right here we go oh, let's talk 
about home exercise videos. Why are so they many of them so fake? The weird hip hop music and the smiles that are a bit too. I don't know high. if anybody does anybody still do surgery, this? But it all makes me feel uncomfortable. You do? I get that instructors want to too. make exercise seem fun and all that, but eh, it feels super condescending to me. How the frig do they do entire workouts smiling and talking and making cheesy eating pizza? Jokes? I know, right? All right, now hold that squat. Ooh, feel that burn in those quads. I'm smiling and articulating everything perfectly, and I totally know you're panting like a dying animal over here. <laughs> oh my God. Think about that leftover pizza in the fridge. <laughs> looking at you, Brittany. If you're looking for good Dang, Brittany. Brittany. programs, I'm gonna I would quit her class if she said that to me. Yeah. <laughs> called Fitness Blender. Whoop, is that the salad alarm? Is Jane finally selling out? No, turn that thing off. I've never talked to Fitness Blender. They're not paying me to say this. They don't even know I exist. It's fun to watch Daniel and Kelly. They're super down to earth and have a really healthy view on fitness and wellness. You can tell they know their stuff. All their exercise videos and tips <laughs> are completely free. And if you want to use one of their written programs or meal plans, they're like 15 bucks. Oh. And they don't have that dumb music in the background of their video. If you're just starting out exercise, it's gonna hurt and or suck for a bit. If it doesn't, you aren't gonna see changes. <laughs> well, okay, don't murder yourself. Be smart about it. But your body don't is be gonna alone. complain for a while. It and that's does hurt. There's plenty of activity yeah. to you can do playing a sport with friends, walking your dog, a casual That's battle to the <laughs> Squat and respect your starting point. When I first started trying to get back into working out, I was just <sighs> okay. All right, I got through it. All right, we're done with our warm up. Grab a quick drink of water and we'll get right into the workout. I but just stick through the beginning because that's literally the hardest part. Raise your hand if you're sore. <laughs> Trick question, you can't raise your arms. They're jello. <laughs> They're jello. It's only a quarter of the health journey. What you eat is the biggest variable to all this life changing athlete. <laughs> that is level. so Eating cool. Right is like straight up magic. I Feel love that magic. animation. That was really cool. The drugs that isn't drugs. There's a difference between being thin versus fit versus healthy. Kind of like Venn diagram style. Someone could be thin, but that doesn't mean they're at all healthy. True. Someone could be super swollen, buff, but eat junk 24 7. And someone could be eating super healthy but not have the body of a supermodel there's a healthy range of everything it's like a weird a really mixture yeah. like, it's just random i've talked about it before in college i developed an eating disorder and a fear of eating food and i would go like an entire day eating almost nothing no jane cool. you think that eating 600 calories a day is just gonna float <laughs> you to all your hopes and dreams mm -mm, nope it's just gonna give you headaches and emotional breakdowns you can okay. trust me I'm i get migraines sure <laughs> also, learn what Bitcoin is and invest everything you can into it. <laughs> no, don't do that! <laughs> taught on the dangers of eating disorders, because if I knew about that whole mess three years ago, I would have been like, whoa, okay, never mind. Let's do a 180 here. This ship is whack. I'm getting out of here before it controls everything in my life. You can't abuse your body and expect anything <clears throat> good to come from it. Man, it's I true. feel great. I could totally run a marathon and write an essay right now. I'm so energized and my brain is so clear. I love how it's in charge. Yeah. You don't go to the gas station, pour a cup of gas into your car, <laughs> and then try to drive to China. Eating less than your body needs to physically survive. That's a great analogy. Greatest, yeah. It might seem like it's working in the moment, but honey, you've got a big storm coming. Please try to end it as soon as you can. I'm not at all trying to shame anyone going through rough times with their self-image. I know it's a really hard thing to fight Aww. against. I was pretty far gone when I was struggling, and even though I'm in a much better place now, I do still have bad days. What helps me is trying to separate logical thoughts from the bad ones that fuel the irrational fears. They're not here to see you succeed. They're just the dumb brain versions of those TV and email scams where they're like, hey, give me your credit card info, social security number, and mother's maiden name, and I'll give you a million dollars. I won't literally destroy your life. I'm just your friendly neighborhood Nigerian prince. It's all <laughs> Eat healthy when you can. Fresh fruit, vegetables, whole foods. And it's okay to treat yourself every once in a while. Don't say, treat I'm yourself. never eating sugar for the rest of my life. You You're need cheat days. That's just unrealistic. And end up pulling a James. Exercise ready <laughs> for and be mindful and respectful about how your body feels. Little changes go a long way. Remember, you're doing this for you. And don't play that dumb hip hop music while you work out or I swear to Hercules, I'm gonna run someone over with an exercise bike. I'm waiting for her to break. Hey, oh. right. <laughs> it's been a while. Sorry. Anyway, okay. I don't know if you've seen yet, but the Fine Bros made a reaction video on me. I I've already see seen it and had really? a reaction, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'll be making a I react to people react. <gasps> do it. Me thing. Please do I it. I know a lot of people wanted me to do yes. that. I enjoyed the video. They said some nice things. I hope you see it. And thanks to the Fine Bros for 
thinking I'm someone worth reacting to. <laughs> this Aww. video took a bit longer Aww. to get done. This year is actually going to be pretty busy and we've got some special things in the works for you in the future. I'm really trying to up the quality of videos and not die in the process. I used to be super strict on uploading every two weeks, but it's really not sustainable for my mental health <laughs> or my health in general. So the videos will just be done when they're done. If there I could post go. more, I definitely would. But I care more about the quality of videos than a certain schedule. So of yeah. Course. Also, I hope you liked the video. Stick to your resolutions, keep working towards the person you want to become, and take care of yourself. I'm working on all of that stuff, too. Okay, bye. 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 Have a beautiful time. I love that video. It's I true, feel like though. she had some really good analogies I know, in there. Like, don't quit. Like, for real, don't quit junk food. Because then your body would be like... Yeah, well, I think you need... It needs to be able to burn. Yeah. To know to burn that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I am one that I'll, I always say... Cheez-Its! I literally have Cheez-Its sitting on. Like, if I could turn the camera right now, but I don't feel like moving. I'll be cause... sleeping. Wake up at 3 in the morning. <laughs> what are you doing? Eat Cheez-Its. I am obsessed with Cheez-Its. Eat Cheez-Its. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm hungry. So? I'm eating Cheez-Its. <laughs> Yeah, well, listen. <laughs> and then you'd be like, no. <laughs> you gotta treat, yeah, you gotta treat yourself sometimes. So it's really unrealistic to be At like. At 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I can treat myself whenever I want. At 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, like, like she said, it's just, you can't just be like, okay, well, set like all of these goals and then. You really can't. I yeah. pushed myself really hard when I went back to the gym that first week. I couldn't turn the steering wheel on my car. Yeah, and I see, see that. They like, say like 60% of the people, when they feel the pain, they never want to work out again. Yeah, so you want to pace. Is, yeah, pace be yourself. very patient. Yeah, like, you don't well, wanna, it's not. I, think, I love the pain. Well, the problem but, was. Because I know it, it may. It, sorry. No, but you're fine. The pain is like the little micro tears in your muscle yeah yeah so it's like repairing it so every time i feel pain it's like oh that's good and it's gonna get bigger yeah well i think the problem with like us as humans just in general is we expect like immediate satisfaction <clears throat> perfection yeah well and then it's just like so if we don't get immediate satisfaction we're all we're automatically like disappointed in ourselves but it's just I, like also think that has to do with the generational thing. Yeah, well, because because everything's immediate now. We have such high standards at the, in this day and age. Yeah, so like every all of us want to like take a pill and then we lose weight or like expect to like I don't do that run a mile and then drop a pound. But it's just like that's not how life works. You have to be continuous with you know eating healthy and exercising regularly and then. You know, this is that maintaining, your own pace. yeah, like just maintaining a healthy lifestyle. I, I do want to check out what she's <clears throat> fitness blender. Yeah, I think this. Yeah, I do want to check that out. Be pretty cool. Meal plans. Mm, I don't got money for that. <laughs> <laughs> but in the future, meal plans would be a good yeah idea. There's like, <clears throat> I normally go on. If you guys haven't heard it, I go on bodybuilding.com because they give you like free workouts, yeah. and that's like I don't, I can't make up my own workout. I like going in with a plan every, every yeah team. like something that gives it to me so it's just like okay now i can go besides being like okay what's you next? gotta think about what's next yeah because that's i think that's always really difficult mm -hmm. to come up with okay what am i gonna do today if you don't yeah and it, i feel like it wastes my time yeah so having it pre-done is nice yeah but, but i think i mean i feel like definitely going in with not 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 high expectations but like not ridiculous goals because it's just all like, in due time exactly exactly but but don't give up on yourself keep going yeah eventually it's, it's, everything will be good it feels good after a while like it does feel great working out after a while. be careful or you're gonna be like me where i developed um runner's knee it's yeah. basically i can't remember the medical term for it but they still hurt and it's been like two years yeah so, so pacing, pace yourself or you're going to hurt yourself like me. Like, I, my knees are bad now. So. Yeah. Well, the thing I'm, that I I'm, used to... I'm working on well, it. Well, the thing that I used to do because I... Like, I just wanted to be healthy when I first... And I know we're ranting, but we'll stop in just a second. Um, if you guys are still here, thank you. Yeah. We really appreciate um, it. When I first started working out, like, I had a goal of losing weight just to be healthier. But then I was like, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I know I told you that, that I, I didn't check the scale. Because like, you can feel yourself when you lose weight, I feel like. I used like, to be tiny. Yeah, but you can, and then you can feel it yourself yeah, when you I'm gain like weight. I'm like 205 now. Yeah. But, I was like 170. Yeah, well, I like. I think physically you, you feel it when yeah, you know you like, drop Or some. you notice. Yeah, so like, like clothes. Like you'll notice eventually. Yeah, like and after. clothes start fitting different and stuff like that. Everybody's so body's different. Yeah, so instead of me like weighing in because I feel like that is way too much pressure for me. Like I don't like seeing the number in general, much less weighing in constantly because I feel like if I don't meet my goal then I get upset with myself. Yeah. So instead I just like continuously working out and then I think the first time I weighed in was like a few months after I started working yeah, out. Yeah, you never checked. Yeah, and then I was like, whoa, that's a huge well, like, you, change. You don't have a scale upstairs, do you? Mm -mm. The yeah, only, so the only I scale I used was one of Planet Fitness, and that was when, when I first I go ever home, weighed I, in. I weighed myself. And that was like two days ago. Yeah. Well, I, I like doing that because it's just like, I don't like looking at the number because the number shouldn't count. It's how you feel. So, true, but anyway. True. Anyway. Sorry, we went, <laughs> we went, we went way yeah, out. Yeah, way into that. But if you guys have any more videos of Jane Animation that you want us to watch, please let us know. If you guys want to see more of us, you check out the Searchbox Post or Snapchat. And make sure to subscribe. And as always, like and support. Take care of love. We, we love, love you guys. guys. I mean, heart. Have a good day, good night, good evening. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <clears throat>